What's up, bros? My name, is, my name is Brandon! And welcome to today's video. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit more off the cuff. We're doing something. We're back. Yeah. We're together again. Oh no. But yeah, so we're gonna be creating a ballast song tier list uh, based off of our own opinions on to what knife we think is good, what knife we think is bad. We're gonna rank it from S tier to F tier. S tier meaning it's a rail, and F tier meaning it's an absolute piece of trash that you should not buy unless you want a good laugh. I like to laugh. What's, What's up, guys? guys? We, we have, have shirt. Wilhirsch.gay. It's the best website. Need a hot honey near you. Need a hot honey near you? Well, we don't have that, but we have we shirt have and merch. pillow. Also, I just wanted to say thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. You guys make each one of these videos possible, and we really appreciate the support. They got all the shitty knives that we did hey. in the last unboxing. This is not a comprehensive list. There are some knives I've left out. There's some yeah. knives that I've, you know, combined into themselves. But Will, what about that one knife that I've only ever flipped? I'm gonna leave a comment about it because I need to see it. Fuck you. Fuck. <laughs> also, I wanted to say, ultimately, I'm not that experienced as a Bellasong guy. So when it comes to a lot of these, most of them, I haven't touched. Maybe like half of them, some of them, most of them, sort of. But I'm kind of new to all this still. So that's, it's going to be interesting because I am, I don't know much. Please. My name's Brandon. My What's up, up <laughs> And cut. <laughs> so, what's up? What's up first? I don't even know. So, are we going in order, or are we going? No, we can just pick whatever we, can just we want. Pick. My guess is that is ultimately going to end up here. If it so, gets knocked, it gets based knocked. on that, Max Ace. This I would put. I would put that A tier. But I felt like you might put it S tier. Like for the price, I really like it, but yeah. because it's on bearings and bearings are not everybody's forte, I think yeah. it's an A tier knife. There he goes. And oh, look at him go. A -tier. <gasps> he took his first steps. Wow. The difference in class and how nice it is to flip each one of these, I think that brings this one to C tier. But I agree. We'll, A tier, C tier. Yeah. Okay. I think that makes sense. What about one of these ones that I've never heard of? So. There's a couple other knives that Max Ace made that were around the same price bracket, if not slightly cheaper, yep. that had stainless steel and G10. Out of the ones that we have on here, how do they compare to that? There's two ones other than this. We have the Banshee, which is, it's like this, but a little bit squarer. Um, like a frog. It literally has a tuning fork for the trainer blade. That would be weird. I flipped it at Blade Show. It didn't flip great. I wasn't yeah. that impressed. Compared to this, I'm gonna give it like a mm, C tier, probably. And you, and you say, I'm picking up what you're dropping. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. So then the other one is the Max Ace DMG, which I don't know what DMG stands for, but that's a weird name for a knife. Dog. Machine. Mas gun. grande. Oh. Dog mas grande. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, more big. So the Max Ace DMG, I would actually put it below this because what it is, imagine this knife, but the handles are literally square and it is so ass heavy. It was really brickish. I was not a fan of how it felt in the hand. Like, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and brickish, man. put that in D tier. All right, so we've got, we've got the, the DMG in D tier. Okay. So I, I believe you. What nice. knife would I like to? Okay, so I'm gonna spice things up. Okay. I'm spice things up. The Fiore is a B. A B tier. Yeah, but that's a that's an expensive ass knife. I agree. It, the craftsmanship is amazing. Yes. But the handles are like kind of boring. The handles were to weird. Me. They, they were weird to more. touch. The blade is beautiful. Seven Fiore. I don't think that's how that's pronounced. Fiore. I get that. I, I think B is good. I think yeah. considering the price, because it's a work of art, I think we're going off of flippability. Yeah, flipping. You know what? If we're going to judge one pinsless knife, we should judge the other. Mm. I'm going to put the Monarch in... I'm going to put the Monarch in A tier. Okay. I agree. Okay. When you first had your Monarch, it was a grail, like best thing Monarch. ever. I hated it. And again, I was still new to flipping whenever I tried it. That was the very first video that him and I had shot together. Well, so, and for me, the thing is, is that when I had the original Monarch, and this is technically the same handles, it's got a different blade now because I went from bearings to bushings. So now I have a bushing Monarch. And the reason for that is because my Monarch started to get handle slap. And so back when I was young and naive and full of uh, energy and life, like I was- Like a year ago. Like a year ago. 
Since having the Monarch fail on me and having to get it sent back to JK for him to fix it and put a different blade in to fix the uh, handle spacing and make it where they didn't slap anymore, it's definitely moved down a tier from S for me. I still like it. I still flip it all the time. I'm just much more fearful now that it'll start slapping again. Yep. Hopefully it doesn't, but we'll see. Yep. Speaking of S tier. Okay. Yeah, I no. think it does too. Totally. I think so 100%. We have price, performance, build, consistency, everything. So we, we've combined the Cracker Rack in V1 and V2 yep. into one listing. Um, and that includes Bowie and uh, Tonto Blade Cracker Rackens. Yeah. They're both good. Like it's just yeah. the Cracker Rackens good. Yeah. I like the Cracker yeah. and They do good. Yep. It's, every time I try a new knife, I come back to this and I'm like, ooh. It's still so good. So so speaking of the sound of the Cracker Racken, this Cracker Racken do not sound that way. That's got the boing, more so than the thugunk. Yeah, and so this, the Cracker Racken Trainer, I actually do have. And the Cracker Racken Trainer, I would say is either a B or A, what would you say? I'd say A. It's not far enough away from the original. Again, it's more clangy, but that's about it. Yeah. It's more clangy, it's got the same tolerances, but between, the Live Blade and the uh, Cracker Rack and Trainer, I prefer the Live Blade. I'll drink, I'll drink to, to that, that, bro. So we've got two other squid knives on here. Yeah. Uh, the Squid Trainer and the Squiddy. Uh, the Squiddy, I've taken all the Squiddies and put them into one thing. I haven't flipped the other squid knives enough to really rank them here. I have flipped these two a lot, and I would say that the Squid Trainer is an A tier. Again, in terms of price, performance, all that. The thing is that I would call the Cracker Racken Trainer an A minus and the Squid Trainer an A plus if, yeah. if we were splitting hairs. And I would get this over this unless you really, really want bushings or the color. Well, so the, the Squiddy, Squiddy. The Squiddy to me now is interesting because if we're talking about price, performance, I would put a Squiddy probably B tier. Yeah, I would agree with that. Like, because it's it flips good enough, you can learn on it. Yeah, you're not gonna raise any questions with them. No. So we talked about the Monarch. What do you think about the Emissary? Emissary was when I was like, because oh, oh. I only had a Squiddy for a really long time. I would say S, but I, I don't know where you're at. I would agree with S because unlike the Monarch, even though I, I still love the Monarch, it's got a much better hidden Zen pin system. Yeah. On top of that, uh, this thing is put together so well for a sandwich knife. It feels like, it feels like a channel knife. All right, emissary, S tier. Now wait, objection. What? what That's object? a very personalized knife. Yes. Are you biased because of the personal nature? Uh, definitely, I'm definitely biased. Yeah. I, I have a secret trick that you can only do on my emissary. Thank you very much. He's biased, but I can concur, it's great. All right, let's 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 talk Benchmade. Well, okay, so we've got the 51. I would say the stock 51 absolute F tier. I know you hate it, so I believe you. In the same guy. vein, uh, this knife, the Custom 51. It's great. I would say it's lovely. S tier. S tier? S tier. Well, so I think I think there's something to be said about making a knife better yeah. yourself. And I think that that can be a reason why you could take a knife that is F tier, in my opinion, and make it an S tier knife. So let's talk about a less good knife. This is the Benchmade 42. This is a clone because I'm not paying for a real one. Yeah, that would be C. Okay, just exactly. like that. Yeah. So then it looks like this. Yeah. but it's not this. It is called the Benchmade 62. What they did is they took this where it had titanium handles and was light and kind of nice and they made it sandwich and they took the titanium handles and made them stainless steel. And then they charged $300 for it. I just want to know real quick, how much does the Benchmade 62 weigh? <laughs> the Benchmade 62 weighs 6.39 ounces. It weighs almost as much as this. That thing's heavy as shit. The Benchmade 62 feels like you're flipping bricks. Benchmade 62, absolute F tier. F -tier. Absolute F tier. My turn. Your turn. It's what my you turn. I can't recognize any of these. You want the spider? Oh. Where does the spider knife land? Yeah, that makes sense. Where the fuck else would it go? Yeah, no, it's absolutely Stay F tier. Satua! I know you, you love you love the spider knife. They're one of our patrons. 
and they love it. They love torturing us with it. If you bought it off Amazon and you were like, ooh, ooh, ooh it is four and a half stars, no. Speaking of the spider knife, we actually uh, just had some wonderful merch finished uh, by our resident designer, Austin. It's of me and Brandon getting sucked into the spider zone. So if you're interested in that, check out willhirsch.gay. We have spider knife merch. It's, it's spider knife merch, that's that's what's gonna sustain us financially. <laughs> Anywho, the CSGO, CSGO knife, knife yeah. is really bad. I think it's an F tier. I think F tier, yeah. F tier. Yeah. Well, so, well. Ow. Well. Uh, we've talked about a lot of shitty knives. We have talked about it. Yeah. Let's talk I'm, about a good knife. I'm ready to. I, I would like to exit the shit zone. The shit. But we can talk about a knife that is heavy and stainless steel, but not shit. The Kershaw Lucha. The Kershaw Lucha. The Kershaw Where Lucha. Is our Lucha? Oh, no, we gave it away. We gave it away. But no, yeah, that thing was great. That's one of my favorite reviews that we've done. Mmm. It's between A and B for me. I would say B, personally. I would say B. Okay. I think we can agree there. Yeah, it's, because it's a good knife. Yes. It could be better. But yeah, I, I think the Lucha is a good B tier. It's a, it's not a perfect knife out of the box, but it is absolutely a great starter knife. Yeah. It's definitely, definitely up there. I totes agree, brother. I'm not gonna. Um, oh, I forgot my fucking bar fly. It's out the there. Bar, the big, oh, I got him. The bar fly is at the dry bar. The big bar fly. It's got chunky handles. That's the only thing I don't like. The boo -boo -boo -boo. I would say B just because it's not quite A tier. Like I this, think the handles keep it from being A tier. I think that's true. I think this compared to like the squid trainer, I would go the squid trainer just because of the handle shape, yeah. but this is a fantastic thing. Yeah. So like it deserves to be B tier. I wanna do some BRS knives, I think. I'm gonna go with the Alpha Beast. I'm gonna say it's a really good knife. Like I like it. I'm gonna say it's an A tier. And then this one, I mean, it's it's really ass heavy. Like it's very handle it, heavy. It is heavy. But it's not, it's something you can get used to. There's no reason you can't if get used to If it's something you have, to, I would say it's A tier though. A tier, okay. Then yeah, because it's, it's, it's not something you can get used if, to. If there's an if, if there's a, oh, it's good if you get yeah. used to it, it's yeah. not S tier. Yeah. S tier is you pick it up and it's great. Yeah, uh, this is gonna be an A tier then. I feel like we got a rapid fire through some, yeah, there's yeah, still yeah, a yeah. lot of bench made. Are these there's, all, wait. Well, oh, well, okay. What, what do we have? Oh, 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 we're on BRS. Oh, we're still on BRS. Bare bones. These are bones, teeth are bones. Teeth are bones. So the bare bones is basically the Lucha, but it doesn't have bearings. So I'm gonna put that in D tier pretty quickly. I, I haven't flipped it, I believe you. How about a weird one? I want weird. I like weird. Give me weird. All right, here's weird. Put it in me. Don't put it in me, it's very large. It is very large. Yeah, so I have, of course, flipped this. It's a Chungus, and when I first saw it, I was like, oh no, what the fuck is that gonna be? It's fine. Yeah. I would I would say B plus. Mm. B plus. Yeah. Yeah, like B plus. Yeah. Uh, okay, so in that vein, let's talk uh, bearing and titanium, the Omeen. Omeen. Yes. Mm. Do you remember my Omeen? Mm. That was in our Balasong Collection 2019 video. Yeah, it was. That it was. It had a weird balance. Mm -hmm. Depending on the blade you got for it, easy A tier. So I'm gonna say B. I think to... a few times it blinked at me. Oh yeah, the eyes on it do look at you. Look at me. Yeah, I, I, I'd say, yeah, where's that boy? Where's that uh, He is right here. Yeah, yeah, it's B -tier. a B tier. B -tier. Nice, B -tier. easy. In that same vein, you haven't flipped it. I've flipped it. From Ryworks is the Konohoshi. One of the most beautiful knives A I've ever held. It's like a samurai sword, but it has the best tolerances and the best balance. Like, oh my God. I'm gonna call it an S tier. Build quality wise, it is very much like the Emissary. Okay. But it's Japanese. Okay. That, like that's That sells it for me. Yeah. Then. I guess I'll let but. you do it. Even though you didn't do the dishes, you haven't hugged me today. <laughs> Atropos, where's our boy? Where's Addy Boy? Addy Boy's right Addy here. Boy. Addy Boy. I... And it came with a fridge magnet, <laughs> which we never use. No, it's on my fridge. Not on my fridge though. Oh, well you need to get a new we fridge. We should cut it in half. Oh. It is my fridge magnet. You cannot have part of my fridge magnet. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna say A tier because you can't get a knife of this quality for this price. You can okay. tune this to have zero play, yeah. zero tap. It flips fantastically. It's got good balance. And what I read on funnyjunk.com is that it is infused with the blood of Vladimir Putin. And, and Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space. Thanks, Actually, Rothschild. you know what? I specifically prefer Yuri Gagarin. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That review's fun too. What about the first dog in space? I miss him. Okay, I'm gonna say A tier for the uh, 
for this. I'd say, yeah. Atropos Russian beautiful knife. It is it is all around good, but it is not quite enough to be S. It don't exactly be how it. Is. It it not be do how it is, but it don't. Do be but how do. The Sphinx. It's got a clang to it. I don't know what makes things like this, but it has whenever I close it a spongy feel between this and that. I don't know what makes it feel spongy. Yeah, I would I would say A tier. I was gonna say B tier. Again, if I were to go to your, the knives that you have on the wall, I would pick a lot of knives before I would pick that one. Yeah, you know, I don't know the exact price. Let's, let's look that up real quick. I just wanna know. I wanna grow a tail. Same. Tear. Because of the price of this, I would put this in A. Okay. Place. It's, it's definitely, ah! it's definitely a good enough, like it's the best trainer you can probably buy for the money. Trainer, so. channel, titanium, great balance, good weight. Yeah. How about, you have, I don't think you flipped this one. It does make that noise. It is the Stitch Steel Alien by our friend Stitch. Uh, before, I need to know, before I made that weird fucking noise, had you already picked that in your mind? Yes. And I just made, and you just okay. made that weird noise, yeah. yes. All right, well, that's how we roll here. <laughs> Will Hirsch dot gay. Will Hirsch dot gay. That's how we roll. Buy a pillow. I, I buy. make knife reviews, buy a pillow. Buy a pillow. That's our pitch. Shut What's up? up? We're gay, buy a pillow. <laughs> oh, Brandon, you're not helping your case, buddy. <laughs> I don't have an alien to show you. It has it has better tolerances and construction than the Emissary. I'm imagining myself flipping the knife. Uh, I would say it's an easy S tier for me. Like I've I've flipped a couple aliens. I really like. So that's them. the second S tier that I haven't touched. The problem with the S tier knives, a lot of them are really expensive. Yeah, yeah. And so it's hard for you to have yeah. flipped them. But we'll have you we'll have you flip one. We'll go hang out with Stitch, and you'll yeah, get to flip an alien. Cool. S tier. No, don't eat that. So speaking of expensive knives, this boy, the Talisson. So I love the sound of this. It's a little heavy. That makes sense. I would. Agree. I was going to say S tier from what I remembered about it. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm flipping it again, to me, S tier, there shouldn't be a but. Yeah. There shouldn't be, oh, well, you have to do, it's like if you were rating, if you were doing a tier list of food, it's like, oh, what has the best burger? It's like, yeah. oh, it's the best burger, but you have to do this Yeah, tier. there shouldn't be a but. There shouldn't be a but. For me personally, it's an S tier, but yeah. I agree with you. It, yeah. it is something to get used to, yeah. both in the feel of the handles and how heavy it is. And so that would make it an A tier. There we go. Have you flipped a replicant? I have heard the replicant talked about in our comments and by a fuck ton of people. Yes. I've never touched it. Oh, wow. And I really want to. A ton of people talk about the replicant as like BRS is one of their top tier things. Yeah, it's a good, it's it's a perfectly good knife. Yeah, I've heard enough good things about it that I would believe it's at least a B tier, I'd say A tier. I'd say high B. Yeah, high B. I'd say high B. It's not, it, they have problems sometimes with the bushing quality out of the box. Like sometimes when they ship you the knife, it doesn't have the best bushings, yeah. but you can get them tuned, whatever. I'd say it's just a high B. Okay, okay, I believe you. All right, uh, let's talk about this weird boy, maybe. Right. Yeah, is it, so I was. That one's really small. That's I see this stubby, guy. stubby little. Oh, so this stubby little bitch. If you want to rate this one, I'll explain the Bradley Cooper this, to you. Bradley Cooper. Yeah, the uh, Bradley Cooper. Yeah. This one is fine to me. This one's good. It's small, like the thirty dollars bottle song. It's about the same size. It's real tiny, but it's titanium. Like, this, like yeah, this, this to me, the design is kind of boring, but I feel like it almost has like a futuristic look because yeah. it's so clean. Yeah. I like this. I put it. It's pretty cheap too, right? I got this one for I think 120 bucks. Yeah, <laughs> on like, resale. yeah, for that price, I would. Yeah, this this to me would be better than like BB Barfly. I, I, I'm going for A. A. I'd say A tier. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Scorpius. Yeah. A tier. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. Uh, we haven't had the cats in this video, Brandon. We haven't had the cats. In this we have video. to have the cats in the video. <gasps> <sighs> 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 Yay! Ah, <sighs> thanks, guys. Bye, Toast. Bye, Penny. Cats. Catch. Oh, I should have put Penny on this list. <laughs> oh my God. Penny's an S tier. S tier. She's so tiny. Goes on your shoulders. She goes on your shoulders. Penny wanna be in the You wanna flip? Yep. Do you wanna flip? Bro. Do you remember the Pelicanus? I do remember Pelicanus. 
the Max Ace Pelican. Yep. For a while it was called Pelicanus, but they changed the name. Weird. Why Thanks, don't know why. Max Ace. I know. It was really good. I loved it a lot, except it had tang pins, right? Okay. But the tang pins were screw in, so you could screw them in and then replace them over oh. time. Problem is, is actually they should have just been set tang pins because they kept breaking. Oh no. So they break all the time. Some could say you got screwed. So I'm going to say C tier for the Pelican. Yeah. I really like the Pelican, yeah, but- Will I put anything in C tier for a while? I, just, the tang pins kept breaking, dude. All right, uh, steel phallosongs from Amazon. I mean, we flipped them. I saw people that commented on the unboxing video that were like, these are all still shit. I would F say D. Or D. It, I would say it has potential to be a D. Yeah, D, D. I, well, a, it's a not random, as offensive. Yeah, a, it's not offensive. Yeah. F tier yeah. is offensive. Yeah. yeah. So just general In sandwich general. construction, cheap Amazon steel knives, D tier. D. Um, okay. uh, it was Max Ace Covenant. Sandwich I, on bearings, yeah. if you remember that. Mm -hmm. Max Ace, I don't think they've disappointed. I really liked my V1 Covenant. I would That's say fair. A tier, high okay. A. Okay. Okay. Give that a drag. Bam. You wanted to talk about the Stubby Boy. Stubbith. So that's Stubbicus. That is a Bradley Kimura. Stubster. They have a lot of versions of them throughout the years. They used to be the entry level ballast. Okay. Because they weren't super expensive. They were stainless steel handles. They're kind of like a uh, BRS um, bare bones, but they were stubby. They were short. Hmm. They were like this big. Stub Junior. Stub Junior. The thing is, nowadays, there's a lot of knives that outclass them. They haven't evolved. Yeah, they yeah. haven't evolved that much. I would say C tier to D tier, probably. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say D tier because they're similar to the bare bones for me. Yeah, just it looks small to me. It is like maybe small. it's the size of the blade, maybe it's the photo. I want to talk about Benchmade one more time. Bench. Benchmade 87. Do you have you ever flipped the 87? I don't think I have. The 87 is their return to a channel design titanium balisong, except they did it in a very weird way with a latch that was magnetic for some reason. Ooh, you know what knife the 87 is like? This knife. Really? Yes. The 87 was weird. It was very, very controversial. So yeah, I, it's it's similar to this, but I would say it's slightly worse. It's like $600. So I'm going to say D tier. D tier. Yeah. D tier. It's just for the price, for the performance. It's like, eh. Are there any heavy hitters left here? Well, there's a couple. The Jerry Home Prodigy you, I had. I think you said it was similar to this song. Yeah, yeah. I like the Prodigy a lot. And you did flip it a couple times. You just probably I don't think, remember. Yeah, I don't think I remember. The only problem with the Prodigy is that it pinches your fingers a lot. You know what? I'm gonna put it in B tier. I think it's B a good enough. Okay. It's a good enough flipper at a good enough price that okay. it deserves B tier. Yeah. However, that same thing. There's the Jerry Home Rhapsody. It was very similar to that, but it came out later than it. The Rhapsody was like that one, but heavier and worse balanced. Uh, C tier. <laughs> zing zang boom. Zing zang I'm zoom. Gonna... Oh, we've got a lot of Jerry Home knives left. Oops. Uh, sorry, Jerry. Sorry, Jerry. Uh, I don't know any of these. Yeah, I know you haven't really played yeah, with the Jerry Home stuff. We didn't stuff. really, we didn't really build this up to like, oh, we're gonna save the ones that everybody knows for the last. Yeah, we fucked so that we up. So we know, like, so there's some build up to it. Well, okay. Oh no. No stop. Why Done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the Patreon. No, no here. Okay, wait. No, so here. We're going to make this into a game. Go back. We're going to make this into a game. I'm going to guess you're gonna... where you're going to, how you're going to rate okay, each of these. Okay. Based on nothing. Yeah. But the photo. Okay, that's the Dog Bite 3.1. Dog Bite 3.1. I'm going to say that's. Yeah, that's a B tier. Yeah, B -tier? No, you're right. Okay. The Dog Bite 3.1 is like the Benchmade 51. It's like a modded 51 out of the box. So okay. it's already got the titanium, it's already got the bushings. I'd say a solid B, like high B. Okay, cool. Th so what's this one? What's this, this one This one is the Jerry Home Chimera. A tier. Unfortunately, I find the Chimera to be a C tier. So the Chimera, while it's a really cool design, it's just, it's weirdly balanced, it's very square, and it's just not my favorite flipper. So yeah, I was gonna randomly guess that that was gonna be A tier and that this was gonna be C tier. Yeah. So since it's not, I'm gonna put that Oh there. God. <laughs> no, because right. we talked B. That's the Boker. Okay, so right? the, the Boker knife. Could it be a B? It runs off of pins. Let's put this in C. <laughs> That's Maybe right. D. There you go. Uh, <laughs> it runs off of pins. It's channel steel. 
It's very heavy. It's kind of shitty. It's basically the same as those $1 Chinese knives off okay. of pins, but yeah. it's made in America. Oh. It's not offensive, but yeah. it's not. Okay, so the last one here. Yes. I That is the Jerry, well, let me let me tell you what it is first. So that's the Jerry Home Basilisk. I know Jerry make a pointy boy. Jerry make a pointy boy. This is the one, when I say that the, the tip is as dangerous as a Jerry Home knife, I'm talking about the Basilisk. A tier? That's my guess. That's correct. The thing that holds it back from being S tier. It's a fantastic knife, but the balance is kind of weird. And so you can replace the uh, the backspacers. But yeah, I think it's an A tier, not an S tier because of that. So. Ass. That's the list. That's the list. That's where we are. Yeah. I think. So let's review. What were our top ones? Cracker Racken. Cracker Racken, yeah. Emissary, yes. Uh, Benchmade 51, modded. The custom. Custom, yes. Good. The other two, I have no fucking idea. I mean, you know um, Stitch. I know Stitch, yeah. Yeah. And, and Stitch, he's been a good boy. He's been a, he's, well. Well. <laughs> but yeah, Stitch makes a really good product. And similarly, while he's harder to get a hold of, because he's in Japan, Ryworks also makes a good product. I like it. The F tier, we had to cut out all the moments where every time I looked at the spider knife, Blood has come out of my eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's I think that's it. That's it, baby. 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 But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's our list. Uh, do you guys agree with my list? Do you think I fucked it up? If you think I fucked it up, you can tell me that by going to this tier list site. What is it? It's a uh, tier maker, and you can look up the Will Hirsch Ballast Song 2020 tier list. Yeah. And you can do it yourself. You tell can, us that we're wrong. Yeah. Rank the knives yourself. Send it to yeah. me. Let me let me know how I'm wrong. Obviously, our personal opinion should be heavily. Scrutinized. But yeah, I think we've got a pretty good list going on. I mean, are you, you're happy with this? I'm happy with it. I'm happy it with It makes this. sense. It was an interesting dynamic, me not having flipped a lot of them, but then kind of going back and forth. A lot of our patrons actually have a lot of the, the awful knives that we unboxed in the Amazon thing. So if you want to become a patron, it's like three bucks a month and that'll get you in. We do a lot of shenanigans. <sighs> He's never. This is what he's like. Yeah, we really appreciate our patrons so much. It's you guys crazy. help us make every one of these videos. We can't believe how many people support us already. <laughs> I know, yeah, and there's a, a ton of people in our public chat too. Come say hi there, we it's chime still, in there sometimes. We, there's a lot of people in there. We only started it this year. I know. I it's, can't believe it's wild. That. Yeah, we, we started the it. patron this year. We've already got more than 50 patrons. I said whenever we started the Patreon, if we, had, if we got 10 patrons by the end of 2020, at the $3 tier, I was gonna be blown away. Yeah, same. And now we have like, what, 50, over we, 50? Yeah, we have over 50 patrons now, which is wild. So I, yeah, for real, we just wanna say thank you so much. You yep. guys are literally the best. It's so cool getting to talk with everybody in the Discord. It's, yeah, it's really awesome. Yep. If you enjoyed this thing, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna do more bullshit like this eventually. Also more reviews. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be reviewing headphones. You can see my headphones in the background over there and over here. So. Yeah. You know, the headphone stuff should be fun. That'll be fun. We're gonna and do I fun know. stuff. Yeah, we, fun. We, we like doing this kind of stuff where it's just more conversational and everything. We like fun. We we I know people generally like just us doing our thing. So if you wanna see more of that, give it a thumbs up. Send us a postcard. Send me a postcard, please. Send me some bullets. But anyways, now if you'll excuse us, we're gonna go. That's pretty much it for today's video. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go put all these knives into my shirt. Fuck, they're so cold. Pussy. <laughs>